Okay, hi, it is Victor again. Now we are going to, to continue with this part five. Design of box covered. Now we, have, we previously see that we have see the post process. Now you can see the beam. How the moment is. If you go to the, you can see the stresses. And go to the graphical, see how the stress are. These are the bending moments, these are the shear, these are the, these are the action. As you can see here, you can see the bending moment, you can see the bending moment, you can see the shear. These are the shear diagrams you can obtain from the post process. So you can also see the reaction process from for different load cases. These are the combination of the critical. See now. Beams. See the fourth. And this is a maximum bending moment. You can also see the shear. This is the shear. Shear, shear force. Diagram, bending moment diagram in shear command. Then after see the post process. Now we are going to design our our members top slab, bottom slab, inside and side walls. Now I go direct auto design. Then after that, I will fill my job information as, as, as I have explained previously in previous parts. Then after filling the job information, I will go direct to envelope. I will create my design envelope. Let's say this is the ultimate, ultimate design. I will design for the ultimate condition. I'll use the load combination as my design uh, design cases. I use all, then I'll click OK. I have already created my, my envelope here. Then after that, I'm going to I'll go down to the members, then I will I will need to create my member. This this one now it is not a member, it's just an element. Elements is uh, it's connected between two two nodes. But members, if I want to create a member, it means I need this the whole uh, top slab and the bottom slab to act as a single member. What I need to do now is use the element cursor, select all my elements, and I'll go up here to the members. Then I'll form an auto member. After creating, after forming the members, you see that this is the top slab. Then I'll use the member cursor. This the top slab will act as a single member, and the bottom will act as a single member. So we have a member number one, bottom slab. We have a member number two, top slab. We have a left hand side external wall, member three. We have a member four. We have a member five as interior interior walls. Also, we have a number six as a external external wall right on the right hand side. Since we don't have a slab, there are no need to to form a slab here. But before, but after that, I'm going to create a group and a group briefing. Here, what you need to do, use your member cursor, select all the members. Then after that, because this member, I'm going to design them as a beam. Because I took only one meter strip of a box calvert. So I'll design them as a beam. Then I'll go to the new brief. I'll create my brief or group. Then this is, a, let's say this is the beams, groups, or brief. Code, I'll use the BS81 
one zero. This I'll have them this type of design, I'll present them as a beam. Then okay. Then after that, I need to specify cover. I'll specify cover at 30, I'll, I'll, it will remain the default 30 on the side 30 on the bottom side. The maximum concrete size is 20. Grade of concrete specified, I'll use grade 30. Or I can specify my own grade, let's say grade 30. Then after that, this is the bonding coefficient torsion or compression will remain at, as it is as the yarn. The main reinforcement now come here. Top slab, top bar criteria, I'll use minimum 16 and maximum I'll use 25. Then minimum, let's say 20. 20, maximum 25. Bottom slab criteria, minimum I'll use 20, maximum I'll use 25. Links, I use links of 12. This will act as a distribution bars, 12 millimeter. Then the minimum gap, then I'll use uh, 75. These are the minimum. But the bar type, I'll use uh, 460 as a grid of reinforcement. Shear reinforcement, this will use a dissolution bars, so I'll use 460. Then I'll use a T, T16. Or T12, let's say, let's try T12. Then after that, I'll say OK. Then after clicking OK, we'll see now you have created your, your brief. You can create a lot of brief as you, as you find it is OK for you. But now, but for me, I just create a briefing, only brief for the, the whole members. Then I'm going to create a new group. This is the uh, Box members. Then brief, I'll use the beam brief. Then I say OK. Then we see member number one, this is the bottom slab, we are here, here. Member number two, this is the top slab, we are here. Member number three, stain wall. Member number four, member number five, interior wall. Member number six, the other exterior wall. So after that, after breaking, I'll go direct to concrete member. I click concrete member. Here, you can see the summary. It is show that we have a member number, number one, which is comprised with a beam number one, two, and three. Having the specified, it will act as a single member. We have member number two, we have member number three, member number four, member number five, member number six. Suppose we have a span, member number one, span is 3.275, member, member number, uh, beam number two, we have 3.2, this is number one, 3.25, 3.25, 3.275. Uh, Cover, we specify a 30 millimeter. Okay, now you need to specify the support. Since our structure is monolithically, then all the support are going to be a fixed support type. I'll change them all to fix. Change them all to fix. Then after ensuring that this this support all are fixed, then I'll go direct to design. Now you have member number one up to member number six. You you have two options. You can design all the member or you can design the selected member. For example, I will unselect them all to the available member. Member number one will represent the bottom slab. I'll do I'll design it. Member number two top slab will design it. Member number three, I can choose either member number three or member number six because they are all representing the external wall. Okay, I'll choose member number six. Member number four and member number five, these are the internal walls. I can choose one of one of them, maybe member number four. I'll select it. Then after that, I will design. Then 
you can see now. It shows that member number three, it fails somewhere. Hogging fail, sagging fail, shear fail, and uh, this, this interior, it failed because we didn't select them during design. What we can do, we can again select them all and redesign them all. You see now, it's all okay. It seems, I remember now, they are all okay. If you want to see the layouts, you can just select the main layout. Let's now start for the, from the bottom slab. You now see, these are the bottom slab. You see the, how the reinforcement are in it now. Let's say this is 320. One, two, three, four, five. How many space? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one meter divided by uh, minus the cover. Divided by four, four spacing. We're going to get how many? How many spacing? T20 and spacing of this is one meter. Minus cover 30, 30, 60, divided by 4. So the spacing is supposed to be 200 millimeter. So you can get 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's, now let's see. Let's come, come to the top slide. The same. It is a uh, need T20. Five number of bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spacing 1, 2, 3, 4. So you need a T20, uh, a spacing of 200. Now let's see the, the external wall. As you go to the external wall, you find out that the, the, the outer part, uh, this is the outer part. You need to have a reinforcement, it is T20. But one, two, three, four, five. Five, when you have 100, 1,000, one meter it means, minus cover, which is 60, divided by five. This is one, two, three, four, five. Divided by five, you can get one, eight, eight. It means the outer, the side walls, reinforcement on the side wall, you can. Put just T20, T20 at spacing 175. Interior wall, you can just see 1, 2, 3. Which you can just see main reinforcement. These are the main reinforcement. You see 6 T20, depending on the which member. If you select the, the bottom, you see okay, for 5 T20. Oops, have the same okay here reinforcement i propose t20 you provide t20 t12 at spacing of 200, 275 this will be the distribution bars okay thank you for listening all my lecture for further detail please don't hesitate to contact my I'll, I'll leave my email below so that for further explanation we can communicate. Thank you again. Please like my channel and subscribe for further updates. Thank you.